yeah, I've been obsessed with it. And there's a lot of really beautiful uh, experiences that have happened since we started bubbling. Where we are right now, we're inside of a, a Mercedes Sprinter van. I built a platform in the back for the bed, which you can see, built really solid and some lovely shelves. My closet and various ways to hang things and hide things. Um, you see massive amounts of storage under there, all the bubbling gear and other toys. This van is parked right now in Lithia Park in Ashland, Oregon, where guys like us will start bubbling. There's cello players, there's kids that uh, fiddle in the creek. It's an amazing town, this town. There's a sublime joy in, in creating bubbles. It's a, it's a meditation, it's a sort of prayer, it's a, it's a respecting of the now moment. Mastering where you put your body, you gotta have, uh, if it's windy out, you gotta have the wind to your back. Sometimes you have to run to get the bubbles out. If I have to uh, move around not to like stab children in the eyeballs per se, with sticks and stuff like that, um, or have them headbutt me in my lower regions, <laughs> um, that is a little less like Zen mind. The bubble sharks, the bubble killers come out and it becomes a, a, a feeding frenzy. We call it bubble fever. People right. get bubble fever. The or parents get into it. Everyone to gets Toddler into it. bubble rugby. It becomes kind of a gladiatorial sport of yeah. sorts with these kids. And we've seen kids be really altruistic and want to watch other children pop the bubbles. There are children, I would say, that have a more like authoritarian bent or a more narcissistic bent and they want to pop all the bubbles and it's just interesting to see those early formations of like what kind of people maybe they would be you know Davey was just paying for it before and it was like kind of a mad hobby but now it seems like it's actually paying for itself with tips so. got the bubble juice down to about three bucks and change per gallon uh, per two gallons J Lube is this product by Jorgensen Laboratories, and it is a, a veterinarian lubricant. So it's used uh, for birth, for any time you need to get into an animal's orifice. And a half. There you go, some quality bubble juice. Myself, you know, I've struggled with uh, social anxiety issues over the years. Part of the van experiment for me was uh, to get myself out and out of my old patterns of uh, the people are scary and life is scary and that whole fucking series of bullshit that your mind will offer up. also had a partner who passed away from cancer two years ago. We were together for about seven years. And after that, I realized that I need to keep on loving and keep on making beautiful things and uh, bringing smiles to people's faces. And there was a woman who came up to me the other day who was battling stage four cancer. And she said that this was a peak experience for her. I think it's really doing a lot of things that I didn't even think about when I first started blowing a bubble. It's like, yeah, it's showing a temporal reality of all things, how everything is in a temporal state of being. You know, eventually, you know, some bubbles never make it. Yeah. 
some bubbles go on forever. You know, there's sometimes we have fantasies about bubbles going into Idaho or something. Like it just lived on and went beyond, you know. It's in Cincinnati now. There but is that's... a legend of the bubble that cannot be popped. The right. bubble that is will immortal. rule them all and bring joy forever as right. it floats across the atmosphere.